bioluminescence and the whole quality of night is such a key part of the appeal of, um, the, of the film Avatar originally and of the planet Pandora and so much of uh, that original um, creative idea was built uh, by, by John and by uh, James Cameron and by their team. I think it's best that John lead you through and John describe this to you. I'll hang back and answer questions, but I'm really going to turn the floor over to John to take you, walk you into the night of Pandora. Um, it's really uh, an extraordinary experience, but as we said, this is not a completed extraordinary experience. Uh, Jim, Jim said that he uh, dreamt of the bioluminescence when he was 17 years old. This was one of our bigger challenges on the film itself, was to create an immersive and engaging environment that was bioluminescent. And it was important for us, when we got the response and the feedback from people who saw the movie, and that sense of yearning to go back to Pandora, to deliver that to them here on Pandora at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Welcome to the world of Pandora. Every exotic plant in the land, every exotic plant is hooked up to the bioluminescent system. So the way the flasca reacts is one touch does one thing, but if we get a lot of people playing it, there's even more. It'll react to it. It's building up. So on a hot summer day, that's actually really refreshing to be standing over there under the spray. This is the evolution of a night on Pandora. And the sounds will complement that complete evolution. Entire world. 